Especially the weekend. Hooray! We decided to brave Magic Kingdom because we haven't seen fireworks in a while. So we're here for happily ever after. I feel like we just haven't been to Magic Kingdom enough. Yeah. Like I want the vacation feel. Yeah. There's a lot of like tour groups here, like schools, tour groups. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. But we I are. Group. So, so do I. Yeah, and that, I kind of like when they chant just a little bit, <laughs> and not during special events. Yeah. But well, we, we have. Are, um, we are starting to come here every Sunday, so hopefully that will get our vacation fix in more. But yeah. we want to come. And tonight. daytime fix. Yeah. We want to come tonight for fireworks. Yeah. Get and Sarah, so grab the fast passes per use because she's a fast pass extraordinaire. Queen. And now time to just rock it for the next two hours. <laughs> Yeah, it's close at night tonight, and fireworks are at eight. First fast pass of the night. A little sea princess. <laughs> Is she still a sea princess? Now, like post movie? Yeah. I think so. Her dad's still the king. Yeah, and she's married to the prince, so she's yeah. princess of both. Wow, she's probably the most royal princess ever. <laughs> Here we go. What? No. What am I thinking? That's a terrible place to start a story. So our second fast pass of the night is actually I'm a little nervous about it. It's Buzz Lightyear. We've not been on this in a long time, and I feel like the last couple times I've been on it, I didn't perform at what I consider to be my normal. So I'm a little nervous. We got a loud crowd in the in the line today. Yeah, that wasn't doing like the audio, but now I can hear Buzz telling me what to do. Sarah's telling me she's gonna beat me. We haven't done this in a long time. I know. I'm very. I'm like, like I'm almost like weirded out how nervous I am right now. Film any of it so we can just play. Ah, I also need one of these in my life again though. I miss it. Like I think my sister had one when she was a baby. That was the last time like I've actually used one and I love them. That's how loose it is. I only got one of the big targets. We still beat him. We are headed back to Fantasyland. I think I psyched myself out, <laughs> but there's no not there's always I, there's no next time. There's always next time. Um, a little bummed. I didn't even get I got Space Ace. I didn't even get Cosmic Commander. It's okay. It's but okay. I definitely got it in my own head. We're gonna watch um, the the fireworks behind the castle, so hopefully that'll make you feel better. Oh yeah, it's my favorite spot to watch them. It's a photo finish. The music is just about done. Pre-show. I kind of want to go on the carousel after this. <laughs> we can. Have we been here since? We have not watched the fireworks back here since this is unveiled. Yeah. I did that. <laughs>
of all ages. Okay, we're gonna look for Cinderella's castle. Oh, Cinderella's horse. Before we hop on, it's been a few years since we've spotted her. I know they still have the horse. I like that bench. Happily after. Oh no, we're coming up on the circle. I don't see. Not yet, at least. It's either second in or second from the inside. Oh, that's Cinderella's. Right here. Right, so here we are. We got our horses. And right there, that tail, that means that horse is Cinderella's. And I bet that little girl doesn't even know. And we're just the only steps that are following behind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this means what? Time to head on over to the Hundred Acre Woods yep. for our little pal Pooh and friends. What's your favorite room of this ride? Favorite room? Oh, the rain room, hands down. Yeah, me too. Where's the last one? What? Where's the last one? What's that? I consider that weird turn where like Pooh is like in the wall, like the last room. If you ask me, he'll never reach that. in the United Kingdom Pavilion, but I have never seen them here. Look at Tigger's head. And a turbis. Right, and the other shirt. This is also Tigger's head. It's just him. Oh, this is cute too. I like the bigger one. Cute. Too cute. We decided to stroll over packing some more attractions in. Just soaking up the area music and the sights. It's actually not, too, I know like a lot of people left after the fireworks considering it was park was still open for an hour after, but it's not too bad. On our way out, Sarah asked to come and listen to some tap dancers. Isn't Center Street a long time? We don't spend enough time on Center Street either. I remember when Justin from Gem Sessions put the little geocache oh, yeah. over there. That was the first time we ever interacted with them back on the Fab 5207 days. Oh wait, I can hear him. Late night classes. Yeah, you can hear the singing and then the tap dancing from the ballet and tap. Music and dance lessons. Holy cow. Look at this book right there. Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. Ultimate history. Hard cover. Look at the ribbon that keeps your spot. That is beautiful. Can you imagine in 10 years when Mickey's 100? Party City, USA. Well, I just told Sarah, I was like, I feel like we just got here. And we, were, we realized like, yeah, we got here like two hours ago. But like Sarah said, like, it was a very planned and structured trip. So we did a good amount of stuff and enjoyed it. Yeah. It and wasn't too rushed. we do wanna get up early tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll think ourselves. We're trying to go to early admission at Universal Studios. Right. I think our live stream will be up before this, so we're gonna try and edit tonight. Yeah. Home of the Magic Kingdom parking lot. My hips will get bad. We're home. We're home early for a Friday. Yes, we are. Because we're getting up early to go and to Universal. We're gonna sign off now, even though we're both gonna be up for a little bit while longer. 
Um, I'm gonna edit, and Peter's gonna play with Eve. We have to go to our room to get the daily message. Oh yeah, really quick. Oh, should we do two? Should we do this one and then the message? Oh yeah, so this is the... I'll read this. Life is amazing, and then it's awful. And then it's amazing again, and in between the amazing and awful, it's ordinary and mundane and routine. Breathe in the amazing, hold on through the awful, and relax and exhale through the ordinary. That's just living heartbreak. Heartbreaking, soul healing, amazing, awful, ordinary life, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. I love that. It's almost like the uh, about time. Yeah, my ordinary, extraordinary life. So, the message for today is the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. She's so thirsty. <laughs> Eve honestly thinks she can climb the wall to get the water. Um, I think that's good because mm -hmm. you are going on your first run tomorrow after yes. your injury, and so. Getting back into the swing of things starts with one. One step. One step. And we don't know how long that runs may be. I want to do at least two. I would love four, but ultimately, we don't know we how. Two. Oh, Eve spilled the cup of water. A big cup of water. Everywhere. It's like a lake. It's a flood. It's a She's flood. running away. It's a flood. Okay, we're back. Crisis averted for now. Clean up to still be done. She's so guilty. She is so guilty. And she's still so thirsty. <laughs> she's looking for it. We switched out our boat to Valentine's Day. Ooh. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>